Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Do you remember this video? I've inserted a clip here where I did some glow in the dark jasmine and resin. Well, if you watched that video, you'll know that I fell in love with Little Ghosty and I really wanted to take it further and maybe do some of my own designs. So I drew some pictures for Moray Lothian Woodworks and I put an order in for some acrylic blanks because Oh, that little ghosty just got my heart and I needed to make more of him. So of course I contacted Amore as I usually do and I just said, can you make these for me please? Um, so yes, these are purchased, not sponsored, but Amore did send me these a teeny tiny miniature earring ghosties, which I couldn't wait to use. I'm going to be making my own silicon moulds of these acrylic blanks and of course I'm going to be using Let's Resin Silicon Rubber. All the details is are, is, are, will be below. Let's Resin also sent me another mold housing. Now this is so that I can start doing double height molds. If you've seen my video before using this mold housing, um, you can actually put two together to create a double height mold. So Let's Resin did send me another one and I'm gonna be really cheeky here and use a brand new one <laughs> in this, just for these acrylic blanks, even though I've got one that's half used already. But anyway, all you have to do with this mold housing is work out the dimensions you want, how small, how big. Once you're happy, it's just time to make sure all of your items fit within that space and then just clip it all together. So this mold housing will be linked down below. If you've been with me a while, you would have already seen it on my channel, but this is also, again, Let's Resin, so you can get your 10% off. Now this mold housing kit does come with the clips. This, I'm so easily pleased, honestly. They are gorgeously colored bulldog clips. Why does that make me happy? I don't know, it just does. But all you have to do then is clip your form together in the shape that you really require for your piece and you are done the next step in with the kit this actually is not a video advertising the kit this is actually you know me making my own molds but I do feel like I need to talk about the kit if anyone's interested it does come with double-sided sticky tape to be able to put along the base of your mold housing and then stick it down to the surface of your choice. My surface of choice is always gonna be sellotape at this point. I haven't found anything better. Unfortunately, you know, I'd love to find a surface that I can stick my items down to where they won't move, but also gives me a nice, clean, smooth finish because sellotape definitely does not do that. So once I've got all four of my sides done, my next step is to put some sellotape on the back, sticky side, down so that when we flip it round, I can stick my acrylic blanks down into the tape. And this is where I'm saying sellotape for me is a winner. It is the best. It gives me a really dry, well cured silicon finish. I have tried Cricut transfer tape. I have tried vinyl, Cricut vinyl. I have tried the, um, plastic that you cover your school books in, tacky, sticky back plastic. I've tried all of these things and they always leave my silicon with a sticky surface. Right now, sellotape is the only thing that's really doing it for me where I can stick things in. Like if I was molding something heavy, I wouldn't even worry about the tape. I would simply stick my mold form down onto some Fomex board and it would be fine because I wouldn't have to worry about sticking my items down and in. Next thing we have to do, I love this part, is taking off the protective film from the acrylic blanks. Now, like I said, I did order these from Moray Lothian Woodworks. Purchased, not a sponsored. So I will leave his link down in the description box as well after I've stuck in my big, gorgeous ghosty. And this is a substantial acrylic blank as well. It's going to make a really gorgeous chunky key ring. After I've stuck it in, you can see me there using my professional rag, which is my hoodie sleeve, and just making sure it is fully stuck down, but also giving the surface a bit of a polish because any fingerprints, you know, if you touch these acrylic blanks with anything like oily, dirty, like your fingers, your fingers basically, even if you scrub them, they will leave fingerprint marks in the acrylic. So make sure that once you've stuck your acrylic blanks down, then give them a little bit of a rub over the surface. Otherwise the silicon will pick up your fingerprints 
in your final piece. Now I have mixed my silicon. This silicon is one to one ratio, which is so helpful, measurable by weight. And you stir it for around five minutes to make sure that each component are fully mixed. I am also adding in the orange mica powder. Now, any mica powder will do. I have got this one here from the Color Cottage, but any mica powder will work when coloring your silicon. And I just love this color for Halloween. I couldn't quite get it as orange as I wanted, so I did add a little bit more. Not too much more though. You don't want to go too, too heavy on, on the powder. Now, here's the thing. Is it a Claire's Craft Corner video if something didn't go wrong? Honestly. Um, right. If you remember, I made some molds before and some of my acrylic blanks that I was using or whatever it was I was molding had teeny tiny nooks and crannies that really needed the silicon to get down in there. And I did say, oh, next time I'm going to take my time to get the silicon down inside so that we we don't have any problems and that is exactly what i did here you could see that i was just using a cocktail stick to get down inside the teeny white acrylic ghosties those teeny tiny acrylic ghosties ah <laughs> oh, i tried guys i really really tried to get the silica down inside those eyes and the loophole for where you're going to attach them to your earring um yeah anyway we're gonna see the results now this is actually the next day so easy to demold take the clips off pull the sides apart there are neater ways to do this but i for whatever reason i choose the most difficult the most messy way to take this mold housing off it, it's needless you don't need to be like me <laughs> you could just do it nice and neat but straight away straight away I realized my teeny tiny little white acrylic ghosties have not come out and I was just so mad at myself for not you know taking extra time because I felt like I'd taken the time but moving forward I feel like I definitely need another pipette a syringe like a really tiny teeny tipped bottle that I'm gonna have to put the silicon in with because it's definitely not working using the cocktail stick so yeah I'll get out one of my teeny tiny nibs for one of my squeezy bottles in the future I do still want to go ahead and make a set of those earrings but yeah, not in this video, I'm afraid. But the big chunky ghosty and the bat, I absolutely love the way they came out. And I love the way that even though I sent more a drawing of a bat, he actually changed the eyes to be triangular. And I really love that detail because I would have never thought of that at all. I just had little round eyes. I was like, just put the eyes here. <laughs> um, but I love that he changed it to the triangular eyes. And yeah, really grateful for that. This is actually your 10 second warning to look away now if you do not like creepy crawlies, spiders, plastic spiders anything like that please turn off now because they are coming out okay oh gosh I might actually put something on the screen because I feel like 10 seconds might not have been enough to warn people I fully understand that people do not like spiders and especially in um, creepy not creepy crawly form but you know even plastic form fake form um I totally understand but I might actually put something on the screen a bit earlier because maybe my 10 seconds wasn't enough so in the ghosty I have decided to put my creepy crawlies now if you saw Wendy from Tomb Pish she actually has made the coolest few things using creepy crawlies and then she reminded me that I'd bought two whole bags of creepy crawlies in time for this Halloween did not even use them. I was like, I haven't even used mine. So I knew I had to get them out for these key rings. I've got a whole bag of these spiders and then I've got a bag of insects that comes with these little flies, like bugs, spiders, ants, and all of that. So they are two separate packs. One is just spiders and the other one is all of the other insects and creepy crawlies. And the cockroaches are disgusting. They are so realistic, I can't imagine ever using them I honestly they are even for me they are gross so the bat is actually gonna be um more of a colorful cheerful upbeat kind of Halloween this is the resin I was talking about this is Vista one it's their one-to-one -one resin and that is what it looks like but back to the bat I when it comes to decoration style for me I am very much like my other half, a very macabre, a very dark Halloween decoration, if that makes sense. It it would be all of the gothic, all of the decaying skeletons, really dark, yeah. 
this kind of Halloween is, I wouldn't ever, you wouldn't ever see me decorate like this, but I absolutely love the happiness that it gives me. Like as soon as I see this kind of bright purple, green, pink, you know, that orangey brightness Halloween, I do love it. It's just not my decorating style, but this confetti was sent to me and I, I do believe it was sent to me by Resin Detra Supplies aid like last year resin detra supplies sent me some christmas confetti along with all other confettis so yeah i i think the reason i'm kind of not 100 percent sure is because the label's not on the packet um and i just had the packet on the side and i just don't want to be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's resin detra supplies and it is such a fun confetti i just spent some time maneuvering it in place with my cocktail stick before moving on to the next step so this because this is one-to-one -one resin this is 24 hour cure resin this is the next day and of course i had some of the creepy crawly legs and the spider legs sticking up through the surface of the resin which of course i didn't want i want it flat so you just have to go in with your scissors and Ugh, cut those legs off again i'm sorry to anyone who doesn't like spiders or creepy crawlies but that is all i had to do and then it was just a case of deciding what I was going to fill them with. Of course, I'm going chameleon. Of course, I am. Now, really, in you know, in reality, these chameleon powders are gorgeous, but you can use absolutely anything to fill these up. I just thought it'd be really interesting to see the chameleon shades against the kind of indentations of the spiders. I feel like it's going to look like the spiders and the creepy crawlies are in in there does that make any sense like embedded embedded in the fabric because that's the kind of look it always gives me is this kind of embedded fabric look on the back i'm gonna use the chameleon powder in grape now hindsight is a wonderful thing honestly i wouldn't do this if i had the chance to do this again which of course i, I could have quite easily um but yeah, this was the wrong decision. This was the wrong decision for me, I feel, to do the grape in the bat. But what I did do was add it to the ghost because I thought it would give this gorgeous like ombre effect coming down the ghost's body. And then it was just time to fill them up with the black resin. I am again using the um, Vista one-to-one -one resin alongside the Vista black pigment. Really my ultimate favorite pigment because it's just liquid and it blends and goes in so so easily so i just took my time to fill this one up because you can see oh it looks so weird doesn't it, it looks so creepy with all of the legs kind of sticking up through the resin oh i don't know that freaks me out more than the actual spiders to be honest um yeah so i just took my time to make sure that that resin actually did work its way around all of those bits that were sticking that were sticking out and that was all that was all I did I did go ahead and um, make too much resin very rare I know <laughs> but I did use it in other things so it was used up and not wasted and I also did pour some into a teeny tiny ghosty just to see was it fixable at this point and what could I do to make it better but here they are fully poured I've domed them all slightly before carrying on and using my resin another 24 hours later here is the teeny tiny ghosty and you know what first glance it looks totally usable because with a drill I could actually drill out the eyes and drill out the eyelet for the hanging of the earring so I could use one of them but the other one there's absolutely no way it's literally missing eyes unless you drill the holes so here we are with the bat the bat is super cute I think you can I don't know if you'll agree with me but I think you might agree with me that using the grape chameleon powder was possibly the wrong color I feel like I could have just gone straight in with black resin on this I feel like it would have really made everything pop I don't know why I didn't do it at the time I'm pretty sure at one point I was thinking oh black resin on the back of this will absolutely make it pop and yet there you see me just brushing the grape chameleon powder in like that thought just didn't happen like this one here I absolutely love it for all the wrong reasons <laughs> 
<laughs> it reminds me of a ombre sunset and palm trees. If you squint your eyes, guys, you can see it. Tell me you can see it. Like Miami sunset palm trees. Honestly, it actually, I, I actually genuinely do love it. I love the ombre. I'm glad I just shoved some of the grape in there because it makes such a difference. I do love the golden because the golden is also the green and that's very Halloween-y. Um, but I do love the way the creepy crawlies have reacted with the chameleon powder in the background. Now, the first thing I did notice was these flies. We've got these little red-headed flies with these huge wings that got completely lost in the resin and my brain my knowledge knew that they would you can't put clear things into clear resin they will disappear from sight as if they never existed so the wings on the flies have completely disappeared which is one of those things I knew would happen but my brain didn't actually connect the dots and I just shoved the flies in there anyway. But I still think they're super cute, super spooky as well. Um, the ghost is hands down my favourite, the mould is incredible. The acrylic blanks, the shininess, the flatness of the surface. These two unfortunately didn't work out but I'll mould them separately. Again, silicon did an amazing job but the acrylic blanks, wow absolutely loved them so thank you so much to more like i said i did pay for them i did order them this is not a sponsored post um but yeah super super happy the size of this ghost as well super chunky love it i hope you guys have too everything will be linked below including the silicon the mica powder the vista resin everything you need i appreciate you all and i will see you all in the next video bye